Hey guys, TechRite Reviews here. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Barnes & Noble Nook Simple Touch. This is a 6 inch e-reader that is available for $79 from Barnes & Noble. It's the main competitor to the Amazon Kindle and it is my favorite e-reader for lots of reasons. So let's get started. Encasing the entire Nook Simple Touch's body is a black rubberized case that is very comfortable to hold. This is the Nook Simple Touch e-reader. Although many people think tablets are now replacements for e-readers, I still prefer to have a dedicated e-reader for many reasons, one of which is the battery. This e-reader in particular gets around two months without a single charge, and I have found that to be true. The reason for that is because of its unique e-ink display. So even though it's on right now, it is using absolutely no energy, which means that whenever you're reading a page, it only uses energy when you change the page in your book, which enables it to get around two months of battery life, like they say. However, if you keep Wi-Fi on a lot, that will be reduced to about two weeks. Definitely keep that off. On the bottom of the nook, there's a simple button that allows you to activate it, wake it from sleep, and once unlocked, it allows you to get to your quick access settings. So once you press that, you have your home button, your library, the bookstore. You can search the bookstore and your Nook for books and settings. So then on the back, we have the Barnes & Noble. We have the Nook logo, a single power button that's very easy to press. On the side here, it does have an ex expandable storage port, so you can put your SD card in here. Just goes right in. It's expandable up to 32 gigabytes. On the top and bottom, we have these little clips, which you can get for cases that clip into it. On either side, there are two page buttons, so you can configure it. I have it set for the bottom button to go page forward, but you can alternate, so the two on the bottom will move the page forward, and the two on the top will move the page back. So once I unlock it, it gives me a slide to unlock. So we have our notification bar, our book icon that lets us access our most current book, and as I said, our quick navigation panel. So I'm going to go into settings, and this may seem very similar to Android because it actually is running Android, a very skinned version, but Android is the base operating system for it, so you can root this and make it a full black and white tablet if you would like. I might post a guide on that later, so make sure to keep watching. Under device info, you can see that my battery is still at 98%, which is amazing because I have probably not charged this in about a week, and I've read on it probably about an hour, so it really does hold up to its two months of battery claim. It comes with 240 megabytes of usable internal storage, which lasts a very long time because books take up such little space. Then we just have our SD card, tells you one is found. About your Nook gives you your software update. Right now it's running 1.2.1, Barnes & Noble, this version of Nook operating system. Then a bunch of legal stuff. Under wireless, it does have built-in Wi-Fi, so you can just download books. It's pretty fast, but it does degrade the battery. I mean, it makes the battery die very quick, so I tend to leave that off. Then we have our screen. So even though it doesn't use any energy when it's just sitting here, they do have a screen timeout because this is a full 6-inch touchscreen. So by letting the screen turn off, it doesn't have to be waiting for something to touch it so it can shut off the touch sensors, so that saves battery, so I keep it at 5 minutes, doesn't really matter, you can leave the screen on. Under screensaver, you can set your own screensaver, I have it set for nature, it also comes with authors, so every time I lock it, I will get a different photo, so as you can see, if I just keep locking it. It's just a nice rotation of nice wallpapers. Now, once I get back into it, I can cancel. 
It may seem a little laggy, but you don't really notice it because most of the time you're just reading, so you don't need it. And every now and then you see that black flash. Because this is an eating screen, it has to clear the screen sometimes. We have our clock, which we can set here. Then for reader, as I was saying, you can configure the buttons to change which one's forward, which one's back. Under shop, that's where you manage your credit card or gift cards. Social, you can sync with, I believe, wait for it to load. Oh yes, you need Wi-Fi, but you can sync what you can sync your Gmail contacts, add Nook friends, link to Facebook, Twitter, Google, and with Nook friends, Barnes and Noble has done a great thing. They let you share s certain books with other friends using a Nook for one week. During that one week period, you can't read it, but it's a nice feature, kind of like a real book. But no other e-reader has that, so I do like that. Under search. We have, it, you can clear your Nook searches if you just, if it's building up and you just want it all gone. So now we have our search, we have shop, and we have our home. So on your home screen you get what book you're reading now, a list of books in your library, and recommendations based on your history. So if I go into the reading guide, it, the Nook user guide, which comes installed on everyone, pops up. And you cannot delete it unfortunately, but... So I can press forward with these buttons and it will go forward in pages or you can tap on either side so back, forth and it tells you your page number. So let me get into the middle of this book. So it gives you just how to use it. It's pretty helpful. So if I single tap I'll get a, another quick navigation panel where I can read content so it gives me chapters. I can make notes, I can put bookmarks in, and if you do have a tablet or another Nook with it installed and they're connected to Wi-Fi, it will sync your pages across Nook so you don't have to remember what page you're on. If, so as I was saying, I quick tap, I can search the entire book for any piece of text, I can go to any page, I can scroll with this little scroll bar. Or I can enter a page, so I'll just go to page 25, just randomly, and then you can close out. So, if you have bad eyes or you like really small text, either way, you can change the font size, so as you can see, that's very small. And then you can get it extremely large, very easy to read for lots of people. And if you want, you can adjust the margin size, you can adjust all the margins everywhere. You can ch even change the text font if you want, if you don't like a certain one. So I'll just change that back to a little bit smaller. So now if I go to another page, I can, if I want, say I don't know what the word passages means. So I would just long hold it and I can highlight it, add a note, or look up the definition with a built-in dictionary that requires no internet connection to use. So it tells me the definition of passages and then I can search for other words right here. And that's it. Then under more, it just gives me information about the book. So overall, the Nook Simple Touch is a really powerful e-reader. Pretty much m matches every feature of any other e-reader. It's extremely thin, it's very light, it's just 0.47 inches thick, and weighs 7 ounces, so less than a book, usually. It's very portable, very durable, I've dropped this many times onto hard floors, and the only damage I've retained is this little coming apart up here, but no big deal. Um, Barnes & Noble is very good with their customer service. To use this, you do need a Barnes & Noble account so you can download EPUB books. And with this, it also allows you to borrow books from your library if your local library supports that. You can load up Adobe Digital Reader software onto your computer and just plug it in. It connects via micro USB and it has a little charging indicator here. So pretty much if you just download books through your computer, you probably won't even notice that you have to charge it because if you plug into your computer for 10 minutes, you're pretty much good for at least a day of use, if not more. 
So let me know what you guys think of my review. Thanks for watching and stay and subscribe for more great videos to come.